welcome to another episode of Drink While You Think. I'm just taking over from Kenji here. My name's Matthew, and this is the real host of Drink While You Think, Kenji. But now I'll let him, I'll indulge you today. Because it's been that kind of day. So I appreciate it, Kenji. What do you have on tap for us, man? Um, well, I mean, I assume you're talking about drinking. Because that's the most important thing here. We're getting ready to head into a long holiday weekend here. By the time this drops, it'll be after Labor Day. So get ready to step into it. I've got, this is uh, Monday Night Brewing's Lay Low IPA. Uh, it's got a cool, like we, we like to drink Monday night a lot. They're local folks, good brewery, and I kind of dig it. And I like like the very kind of like retro. This looks like it is a cool like tiger. It has kind of like an 80s vibe. It's almost like Miami Vice-ish kind of looking. Uh, I like the can. I, I'm kind of getting into some of the graphics on these cans. Um, I will say, however, it's an interesting IPA. Net. You ready? Uh, guess, guess what um, percent alcohol this is. Just take a guess. Oh, I'm, I'm going to guess high because you, you said it. I'm going to guess seven because you said it was way like you're making a big, big deal about it. What is it? Is it like a two? Is it the other way? 3.2. 3.2. That is low, 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 low. And... It's got 90 calories. So oh, this, the lay low. That's the lay low. low. Yeah, it's, it's, with it. so yeah, it's kind of, a, um, I, it's interesting. I, um, so this is supposed to be like a very, very, you can drink a lot of these. Easy drinking. Well, I went with the easy drinking thing too. I went with the three taverns though, the Prince of Pilsner. Oh yeah, so. Prince of Pilsen. Pilsen, Prince of Pilsen, but it's a Pilsner, but it's yeah. a Prince of Pilsen. Okay. I thought I just couldn't read. I see the N. I just didn't. That's what it was. It's a 5 percent. But since you've been talking about Pilsners all summer, yeah. I thought I would get with the program. Cheers. I just loaded, loaded up on more Pilsners. Yeah. Um, how is it? That's nice. That's like an easy. That's a, that's a good summer beer. It's a good right. little start. This is... Um, we'll get to the rain, but it's not great. But it's not fair, right? It's not fair because they're going to diet IPA, dude. Like it's diet good. IPA is diet like IPA. <laughs> it is gonna diet IPA. So I, I was more curious about that than anything. Um, so I guess it makes sense, but I like that they're trying things over at Monday night brewing. Um, but yeah, I'll need something else after this. Cool. Okay, so um, you are a person who's obsessed with websites. Why don't you tell the crew, everybody who's watching, all the different um, websites that you wanted to acquire or just like names and things like, just oh yeah, walk through this. Um, accounting.com um, was the, the, the most expensive one we ever wanted to acquire, or I ever wanted to acquire, you never wanted to acquire. Well, no, not accounting, bookkeeping.com. Bookkeeping, I was gonna say bookkeeping. bookkeeping.com. Bookkeeping.com, not accounting.com. So I, I, bookkeeping.com was available. Actually went back and forth on something on that. Um, I, uh, I think we might own uh, bookkeepingsucks.com. We do own bookkeepingsucks.com. <laughs> so that was kind of fun. Um, what other ones? I've thought about like acuitybrews.com. I've thought about acuities, acuity dentists, acuity like every like a, a bunch of acuity names. You, you had you were very website obsessed for a while. Like probably it's probably about a couple years ago. You were like, man. This is, this is like five or six years ago, dude. Yes, it's true. I always like my, as I get older, like I, I can't remember how far back things go. Like, yeah. So we're, there, there's one you're thinking of that I haven't thought of. What, 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 are, what is the one that, that sticks in your crow? Like, it, it seems like you're, you're trying to get me to one. No, book, bookkeeping.com was the one that like, you just would not let go of. Like you were, Oh yeah. I was ready to spend how much that, you remember how much that one was? Like, it was over a hundred grand. Yeah. And you're like, come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Which one were you thinking I was thinking of? I couldn't, I, I didn't know. I was honestly asking. I was like, well, of course I was baiting you because I don't know if you've seen this. Look at this. Oh yeah. CPA. Yeah. Dot CPA. We could be, actually we couldn't be that acuity dot CPA. Yeah. I looked into it actually. I knew you <laughs> did. You didn't even tell me. Like I knew that. I wonder how many people dot CPA. It was like, it's limited for CPA firms. And I don't want to. I take those rules serious. Like if they only want those to be for CPA firms, it can be for CPA firms. 
Well, no, I know you take the rules seriously, but I, I, why am I not surprised something related to a website you've already like looked at like, hey, can we get one? And, you know, uh, well, this is new because this is for the firm. They came out with these where you could buy your like individual CPA name a while back. Like I thought about doing that, Matthew May CPA. That CPA, that was that would be pretty pretty cool. But um, yeah, they had only the personal an ones first. Would say that if I could get Matthew May CPA, that'd be cool. That's only an accountant would say that. Oh, I mean, you're talking to the guy that Twitter handles the tech CPA dork. Like I'm, I'm as dorky as they get. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, at least your your self awareness is rather high, even though you're maybe I could get the tech dot CPA. That would be pretty cool. There you go. You can maybe do that. Now it sounds like though, I guess that's is the AI CPA now who do, who controls that. So I don't know how you get that. Like they just convince the domain registrars they got to hand over all the dot CPA. I think you bid on. I think you bid on the three-digit things like .org, .cpa, .whatever, but I don't know. But, I mean, but interesting though that like a a trade organization now controlling an entire like dot, you know. Yeah. Interesting. We'll I see. Guess they can't just people out the right paperwork to be a register of domain names. I don't know if, if they're if, the only if, ones. That, if people are interested, maybe you could go on GoDaddy and buy it. I wonder if you can. I bet. I bet they don't have an exclusive to that standard. It's exclusive. It's exclusive. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, what a deal. What a deal. What an absolute deal. I wonder, I don't know what they're charging for it. Um, $6.95. Come on, dude. Like, I don't know. $6.95? $695. or $695. $695 a year. And you get a, you pay premium if it's three letters or lower. So if it's like ey.com, ey.cpa, like those guys are paying more. Be awesome to buy ey.cpa though. <laughs> <laughs> start <laughs> them all up. Start kpmg.cpa. Like let's well, just buy them all. I mean, I, I assume I don't know. We'll see if those guys even do. I assume those guys won't even touch it. But like, who cares? Like, we're a global organization. This is only relevant to the U.S. market. Like, it's probably yeah. going to be for smaller firms. I assume who are like. So really I'm gonna. Uh, I think we should we should do a GoFundMe to get all the big fours and redirect all the URLs to goingconcern.com. <laughs> Maybe going concern would help us in that. A little thing. However, I think there's a vetting process they put you through. I think that's how yeah, it works. Probably. Like they have to, so it's kind of a, whatever, it's kind of random, but you know. I don't know how they make money at 695 then if you have to vet people, so. Um, all right, on to other news. I don't have a lot this week. We're gonna keep it pretty clear. We can holler oh. on that. Um, this one that is being talked about quite a bit by everyone because it kind of hit finally this week is yes, the payroll tax deferral. How are you feeling about this? I'm like, cut it or don't cut it. Deferrals are terrible. They're terrible for consuming for like the individual employees because if it comes back to they owe this big chunk and the only people it really helps are the people living paycheck to paycheck and those are not the people that are going to save for it. So you hit them with a thousand dollar bill and right after the holidays, like when they have to do it and then it's bad for businesses because if their employees can't pay, there's personal liability for payroll tax. They're on the hook. Yeah, businesses are on the hook. Oh, terrible for not just businesses, business owners. Like the payroll tax liabilities are the worst. They're like, those are like, you do not mess with payroll taxes. No. So, you know, no, employee can't pay. What happens? Like you're personally liable as a business owner. The business, the business is liable. The business has to pay it. So if, let's, let's say, let's say but the we, officers are personally liable if you're not remitting payroll taxes. So how does that play into this? Yeah. Like, can you imagine having, like Walmart? Like, what does Walmart do here? Like the the officers then are personally guaranteeing forty thousand people's, you know, whatever. I mean, that's just crazy. Yeah, it, it's. I think people are going to elect not to do this. Um, because uh, I, hope, I hope so. I think it's just a, I, I hope they cut it. Like, I think people need help. I hope they cut it, but deferring it's a bad idea. Like, I think that's a great like concept first step. Like, let's take the other step if we're going to do that. If that's really going to be helpful, let's take the next step. So well, I'm curious to see whether or not this becomes a campaign promise, right? Like a, I got you the uh -huh. girl and you like me, we won't, you know, you want to pay it back. I mean, the timing of this, right. Is happening during the election cycle is I think is <laughs> pretty yeah. suspect. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, you know, all the timing of all the politics stuff always drives me nuts, but 
in recent, it's just progressively gotten worse over the last eight years, I think. Yeah, it's gotten a lot worse. It's pre, it, and for the people that bag on Trump, like it's pre Trump when it's gotten progressively worse. <laughs> like it's not just one guy. So. Politics in general. I mean, yeah, it just gets, yeah. I mean, I think that's probably why it drives business people crazy. Um, I mean, not, not that we're always the, you know, brightest in the world or entrepreneurs, the most morally decent people. I mean, that's not the case. However, I mean, there's such a bias, I think, from a business owner toward action, toward results, right? And yeah. I mean, I guess the results here are thinking, well, whatever I can do to get myself an office, but that's a, um, incredibly selfish result that, you know, playing all these games of status and things like that are just a, yeah, it, it's no, it's no help. It, this does nothing to help people who are unemployed. It does nothing to help um, the small businesses, re help them retain people longer. It does none of that. Um, you know, and they're talking about the average savings is probably going to, I'm sorry, I mean savings, average deferral is going to be about a thousand dollars. And then, you know, so call it maybe a little over a hundred bucks per, per payroll for most people's payroll you know, paychecks. And then they got to double up and pay starting January 1st through April. They got to double up and pay twice the amount of their normal social security. Like it's just not a, that doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. So, I mean, I think it's interesting because the payroll providers have been, I won't say silent. That's not the word. I mean, they're, they're in a tough spot, right? But yeah. They're gonna. They're if you look at any news that ADP or Gusto or anybody's putting out or any payroll provider, it's like, hey, we're still waiting to hear whether this is final or not. Well, it's already that September first was the day it started, technically. That's an executive order, so it's not necessarily more like, is this a law or not or what? You know. So, but it's uh, a just payroll that it hits for most people. Well, for some people it'll be today. For most people it'll be the fifteenth, right? So we'll yeah. see. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's um. To me, it's a very trivial, nonsensical, and I think the administrative burden on small businesses that would try to, you know, it would be administrative burden and the risk, to your point earlier, right? Just so clearly don't even come close to the benefit that people are getting because they're really very limited benefit. Yeah. A four-month, four very small loan, like that's just not, there are yeah. better ways if you need to loan your employees money or something, there are much, I think there are much better ways to do it than this. Screw around payroll. Oh, for sure. Jeez. So anyway. Okay. Well, I didn't think you'd probably disagree with me on that one. Um, last thing I had was something that uh, Ryan Lozanis pointed out this week. And Ryan, who runs Future Firm, again, I love his newsletter every week. If you saw it. Um, so it's, it's a must it's, read. It's a must read. This is just interesting. So he, let me pull this up here. Um, this is... A 19-year-old student up in Canada, which is where Ryan is up in Canada, and uh, in Yash, at least that's his, it's, it's Yash Dani, 19-year-old, uh, he's, he's a university, I think, computer science student. He built a GPT-3 bot, lets people with no accounting knowledge generate financial statements, right? Love it. So a GPT-3 bot, apparently, it's almost like... The way I understand what that is, it's kind of like um, um, it converts, it kind of hypothesizes why you're typing, what you're typing out. So think about when you type into Google and it starts kind of guessing what you're, hey, I'm right. looking for an, a, a different type of beer and you're kind of typing out, it's going to guess it. So he's done that. So I'll show you the, check this out. So I haven't seen it yet. I, I, I heard a little about it. Yeah. So you just type in the left here. I put two thousand dollars in my in cash in, in the business, boom! And the results are he's kind of typed in plain English. You can see on the right hand side the Google Doc, it's kind of creating two sided entries. I mean, it's a very simple balance sheet, right? You know, it's cool. But, but it's kind of cool. Like it's there's no debit this or credit that, right? It's here's what I did. I bought a three thousand dollar truck on credit to be repaid in five years, and boom! There's the there's the entry. So. It was just kind of interesting. Uh, I, th I thought this was kind of cool. Um, You're hired, dude. This guy's hired. This guy's this guy's amazing, right? Now we've been talking about. It. We need a Canadian on the team. We have we've got people in two other countries, three other countries total now. So need a Canadian on the team. 
So yeah. Anyway, I, I thought pretty cool. Good point out by Ryan. I mean, this kind of and again, this is probably who it takes to really change things. Nineteen year old computer science students doing uh, cool things like that, where it's just like, yeah, I'm going to figure out a way to make this a lot easier. Because you know what? Because Tammy's probably like, wait a minute, this whole thing about knowing how to do a debit and credit, like, what's that like, right? Yeah. Oh, Tell them no, do it with a bank feed. Yeah. No, do it with a bank feed. <laughs> Um, crazy stuff. Any questions for me? What else do you got? Oh, um, I, I bet you haven't looked yet. Can you name the six team captains that the Atlanta Falcons picked this year? Julio Jones has to be. <laughs> Julio Jones? If not Julio, then you're, I don't believe. Uh, Matty Ice. Um, I'm going to go. Um, who else on offense? Those are six of them, right? There's probably three offense, three defense. Uh, Alex Mack. Okay, you got the three offense. Defense, it's going to be a Debo. <laughs> yep. Um, Rico. Yep. Oh, come on. You got to miss the easy one. Grady. Yep. There you go. Let's go, football. Yep. Let's go. I, I thought I thought you'd have struggle with Rico a little bit. I know he calls the plays, but he's a he's a heck of a leader. That's the one I thought you'd struggle with. So. Yeah, yeah. I guess I that's you might go. I thought you might go special teams and try to get cute with the sixth one. So no, there's nobody really there. I mean, because because you think about like oh, Gurley, but like no, he's not even on the team yet. You can't put him in as a captain. He hasn't taken yeah. a step yet. Although you know who was named a captain that's new to a team. Yes, Cam, Cam, Cam Newton. Newton. So he is the starter and the captain of the Patriots, elected by his teammates. So it's going to be interesting, isn't it? I mean, really interesting to see that. Yeah. yeah um, I, I, would you rather have Brady or Cam in your division? That's the question. <laughs> I, you know, I'll say. I think I'd rather, I think I'd rather have Brady. You and fans can give me give fine. You want to keep picking on us, Atlanta fans, but like. I'm not sure yet which one I'm more scared of. Is it Brady or Belichick? Or is it with neither of them together? I'm not as scared of either. I yeah, know. I think I'd rather have Brady in conference, though, because um, we already have to plan for Brees, and they're just so close. Like on – Yeah, I mean – Cam's just so different than everybody else, right? So well, we, We've seen before, too. We, we've had good success against Cam. I mean, in certain yeah. – And I think that the guy is incredibly talented, but – um, there are times you can get to him. Like when you get to him and you can throw him off, you, you, you can you can get in Cam's head a bit. Like, right? If he's yeah. not having you, kind of a day. You'd rather have Cam in conference. I'd rather, I think I'd rather have Brady. I think I'd rather have Cam. Just because I've seen it before. I mean, I just maybe it's me leaning too much on past history. Like, I'll take Cam. No problem. Yeah. But Brady is terrible. Kind of like being able to build a defense around like this, you know, kind of consistent defense, knowing what the quarterback's going to do a little bit. We'll see. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. It's going to be an interesting year. Do you know football is around the corner? It's like a week away, isn't it? <laughs> you know it. It's going to be um, – I don't know if you've been watching any Atlanta United. Um, I tend to t- try to watch them. Um, they had a match the other night. It was a pretty bad match. It was that against um, Inter-Miami, who's one of the new teams. Yeah, that was brutal. It was pretty, I don't know if you saw that match. It was brutal. Zero, nil-nil, zero-zero. Like, that's – we become soccer fans, but those are the kind of scores right there that make it hard for Americans to become soccer fans. Like, no, no, well, you, they sold our second best player and our first best player is out, you know? So yeah. that like, okay, that's my other question for you as an Atlanta United fan. Like, have you gotten used to selling players? Like that is just the oddest uh, concept as a, as a, it is strange, right? For Americans that you just sell off a player, right? And I think it financial, I think it was 18 million we sold pay for um, yeah. to the team in Dubai. Uh, or, Saturday, yep. or Dubai. It is Something Dubai. like that. Um, I think that's a good, from what I've read, apparently that's, we got a good market value on that. And I've been kind of so-so on him. Not quite to our friend, our friend Noel, uh, who's a big fan, <laughs> thinks of him, but um, I'm okay with that. I, I, when we lost Miggy, you know, uh, Elmeron, that hurt. Because yeah. he was such a stud and a great team. But, and it's kind of the first time we went through something like that, right? I guess people who are part of soccer are more used to that than we were. Yep. Now I'm kind of like, ooh, okay. 
feels it feels like I don't know if you feel this way, but like soccer has the more of a potential to possibly redeem maybe some bad deals. Not, I mean, it wasn't a bad deal that we made with pity, but like it was a bad fit when we hired the coach. It would have yeah. been fine under the old coach. I think like, so too with South American oh, yeah. influence. And yeah, I think it's that kind of aggressive South American style play, which I'm, I really want us to get back to. But um, it is interesting, right? It makes it feel, I and mean, there's wheeling and dealing in all these leagues too, but it feels like soccer can do some additional wheeling. I mean, you're, you're wheeling and dealing outside of your own league, right? So I know you're selling things between leagues. It's like this crazy thing. Yeah, so crazy. Did, you see, did you see the big news in soccer? Messi has yeah. decided he's, they're talking about 700 million for him. So it's kind of crazy. I don't I know. I think the, the initial I think that's his contract. Was, I don't think that's the sell. It was uh, NYFC, so New York Football Club. I think because there's some common ownership of that club and one of the EP, one of the other teams. So they said yep. the reason that could make it a little easier. But um, I saw a lot of Atlanta United fans on Reddit, which is my new obsession these days, is like things on Reddit, is people were making um, all kinds of Photoshop stuff with like saying, hey, well, Welcome aboard, Messi, and like him photoshopped and like Atlanta United. Atlanta United and Europe. That's cool. Yeah, so I don't know. It's interesting. I, I, um, my son and I were watching it, the match the other night, and they're playing it in the Mercedes Benz, our beloved awesome stadium. It's a bummer. Like you just, there's nobody there, but like they were piping in all the crowd noise. And so we were kind of laughing about all the chanting, like, because there's all these club chants you do during. Right. You know, uh, and so even like on things like, you know, on, on penalties, like we'd be fouled by Miami and you're like, they'd pipe in like, oh, so we were kind of laughing, like whoever is getting to run the soundboard is probably having the most fun in the world. I mean, it's right. terrible to do it, but I don't know that everybody does that. So I'm curious how it's going to work for NFL. Yeah, NFL, they just came out with some like guidelines where they're going to get penalties if it's too loud and stuff like that. It's just going to be stupid. NFL sometimes overregulates everything. Yeah, they, they tend to do that. We're getting, we're getting boring to Mong and the two, so we better rate our beers, dude. Okay, yeah, we just lost everyone else. Thanks for hanging with us, everybody. It's been a long week. It's time for the yeah. holiday weekend. Yeah, well, sure. it's holiday weekend already for us. It's going to be great. Um, okay, um, Mr. May, you were drinking the... Um, Prince of Pilsen. Prince of Pilsen. There it is. Three taverns. That one's out of, I think, out of Decatur or maybe... Three taverns is no, we won't we won't bore people, but um what do you think about that Prince Pilsen? Oh no, what's happening here? I'm not a, give me a second. I'm not a robot. You're not a robot. I'm not a robot. Pretty sure you are a robot. Uh three five. Uh, I don't like the finish, like the, it doesn't have the best. It's a nice smooth drinking, and then there's a little real, bit real quick. Just there. tell me about the finish. Like why what, what's the finish like? If you don't like it's a little bitter for me. I don't know. The bitter is kind of metallic tasting, a little bit like something. I can't put my my finger on it. Sometimes they call that a very crisp kind of finish if it's like just very, but it sounds like maybe that's a little bit, okay. okay. A little past that for me. Gotcha. And, uh, um, and mine was the um, uh, lay low. Low, something low, lay low. Again, kind of cool. Again, kind of cool looking. I like that thing, but I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go 275. Um, but again, I feel a little bit bad giving him that because I bought it. You're, you're buying it because it's 90 calories and it's something a little bit, you know, yeah. unique. It's, but um, It's diet IPA. I'm just diet, diet IPA is the best way to put it. Those guys make some outstanding ones. Probably, again, the one that you, one of the ones you love best was that Oaxaca chocolate. Oh, the Oaxaca chocolate? Yeah. Jeez, they do some really, they do some great ones there. Uh, but anyway. Cool. Well, man, hope you have a good, long holiday weekend. You too, all of our, our all, all three of our faithful followers. Thank you. Have a nice. Uh, oh, you'll see this after the the holiday. But hope you had a nice holiday then. So. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everybody.